Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, we are back, which I have to say it feels like it's been freaking forever. And like, I'm not gonna lie, when I saw the cover of the album, I was like, why are you ruining my life? We're trying to save money in this house. Why are you doing this to me? Seriously, can we just take a second to appreciate the cover of the album? At least the the red version there's like two versions right come on seriously look at this look at this marvelous album right here there's a reason why up till now i still have this album in the background this album right here is one of my most prized you know album because just of how gorgeous the cover is and so obviously when i saw this one the red cover right here with a golden mask i was so incredibly tempted but i'm trying my best like one of my resolutions is to save up money and not like spend all of my savings in k-pop album because at the end of the day i don't really use them let me tell you this is tmi but i, I haven't been paid by youtube in five months because all of my videos get copyrighted and so yeah we're trying to save in this house because life is expensive and also k-pop is not making it easy when there's like temptation like this out there it's like the k-pop industry is like testing me it's kind of like a like, devil on my shoulder you know telling me like buy it spend money invest yeah that but so far i've been hanging on to my resolution and i haven't spent money that i don't have <laughs> so hopefully in the near future i will get this album because just of how gorgeous it is i'm a simple human you know i am weak to gorgeous gorgeous things so yeah anyways honestly i feel like wavy has the potential to be so much bigger that or maybe i don't realize how popular they are i'm sure they are incredibly popular in china and everything but i wonder how big their reach is internationally because i can't shake that feeling of thinking that if only SM maybe gave them more comebacks or whatever, they could be so much bigger right now. I wonder what you think, do you agree? So there's another thing that I really, really wanted to ask you guys, because I've seen like very diverging opinion regarding, you know, the Lucas situation. And so I was wondering, I just would like to know your thoughts, you know, like, do you think SM should reinstate him? And like, I mean, he's, he hasn't been demoted, right? That's the thing. It's like SM is being silent about this whole situation. I feel like SM being silent on this matter is not necessarily beneficial because by them being silent, there's like a lot more room for people to be assuming things. And I don't know if it, that's a good thing or not. Do you, anyways, yeah, I, I would really like to know uh, what you think and how you see the situation evolving in the future, you know? So yeah, anyways, so I've got the English captions on Phantom, let's go. I mean, you tell me, what is it with a leash 10? Huh? Oh, isn't that like a Game of Thrones thing? <laughs> what does get harder? What gets harder? What? Dude, Hendering staring into my soul. <laughs> Just do, dude. You know what this is giving me? You know those like vampire harem anime? That's why I'm saying when I say that. What if it could be so much bigger? Hendry Hayes is just staring into our souls. Like, he's got like. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Why do I feel like 
there are some Wattpad fanfiction like that out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Every time I see Ten, it's kind of like I'm discovering a new obsession. Oy. I am sick. I am tired. What is it? What is it? You tell me. What is it with, with, <sighs> what is it with, with, with them not, <laughs> I feel like that kid, like, you know, that video. Do you Have ever, you ever, had do a you dream? ever, like that, yeah. What is it with my feeling of Wavy being underrated? Why, why can't I shake off this feeling that they deserve more? You know how Edith has favorite? Well, Wavy has Phantom. This is a more dark, noir, dramatic, theatrical take on the whole like vampire. Like I see this, yeah, when I see this, I get reminded of vampires, you know, even though there's no fangs or whatever, but still, it's just the character that comes to mind when I see this. If not vampire, it's just like a character that has its eyes on you and it has, and is controlling you to some degree and how do you say that in English? Oh, hold on you. Yes, it feels like they have hypnotized you. Once they get a hold on you, they are not letting you go. It really almost feels like a Stockholm Syndrome kind of song. I have to say, this song is not as catchy as some of their past songs, but, but it doesn't like remove the fact that it has this overpowering, like creeping effect on the listener when you listen to it. Yeah, to be honest right now, I can't remember the chorus, right? But what impacted me the most in here is how is how dramatic it was. So yeah, I think right now, what is leaving the biggest impact on me is the overall atmosphere of the song rather than the catchiness of it. I think I would call this like a majestic comeback. Like the concept of this is majestic. The execution of this is majestic. Ten looking at us like this almost feels like he's opening the door to so many fantasies. That's what I'm saying. Like every time I see Ten, it's almost like he is opening my eyes to a new obsession. Also, he looks like a the head of like a, a court that I would not mind joining. Okay, uh, excuse me? What the fuck? Win Win's voice here sounds like the person behind the mask. I don't know if that makes sense. It's just, it's just very intimidating. <laughs> what the hell? I love these claw type of rings. Was it Ten's idea? Because I feel like every time there's something that is a bit either sexy or avant-garde or whatever, I just, my mind automatically associate it with Ten and like his mind, who knows? But I really like it. Four, three, two, one, times. 
Oh, there's always something with time with them, like a countdown or whatever, right? Chosen with the skirt. What is it? What is it? It's such a gorgeous view. Wow. Um, I don't know the actual storyline of the play, you know, the, the Phantom de l'Opera? Phantom of the Opera, okay. I don't actually know the story of the Phantom of the Opera and I don't know if the song and lyrics has any connection to the actual play or not. And so to be completely truthful with you, I've got no idea what's going on, but I liked it. <laughs> so yeah, I think to kind of like sum up my thoughts, the song, I can't lie to you. I'm not saying, I'm not gonna say like, I find it extremely catchy, but I have to remind myself that it's not because I don't find a song catchy necessarily that it doesn't mean that it's not good. Because on the opposite side, there are songs that I find incredibly catchy that I don't like. So here in this instance, while I don't think the song is that extremely catchy, I actually like it a lot because of how majestic it feels. Also, I have to say, mood plays a big role in terms of like how I feel about a song. I don't think right now I'm in a mood for this such music. Like this is more of my type of music right now. Like when I listened to it, I was like, yeah, that's it. You know, I like this. Yeah, you know. Exactly. That's what I, that's what, that's more of the type of music that I listen to nowadays and that I reach out for and seek, you know, not necessarily Phantom. Yang Yang is so gorgeous right here. Holy shit. I mean, they're all absolutely beautiful. Kun with his red hair and like the lenses, etc. Absolutely stunning. It's just the contrast between the blue and the red, man. Oh, this is gi really giving French, actually. <laughs> it's my patriotic. Uh, side that is coming out. I'm sorry since I'm French every time I see a combination of blue, red and white I think of friends. It really does look like they're the parents though <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up here. If there's a track on the album that you think I would like Just let me know in the comments. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and like go and listen to to the album once I've got a little bit more time So yeah, anyways, thank you so so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye